Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest news, trends, and innovations from thought leaders from within the digital infrastructure space. And we are coming at you live. That's right, we are live right now, no pressure, from <laughs> DCD Connect in New York City, New York, at uh, the DCD Connect event. And it's going, uh, from my seat anyway, back here on this balcony, uh, things are hopping. Hustling down. and bustling down there. It really, it really is. And how's the event going for you? It's been beautiful. This is my first time at DCD Connect. Uh, first time in New York in general, so I've loved it. All the food, love the atmosphere. <laughs> I've had a lot of pizza since I've been here. <laughs> That's what I had for dinner last night. And before so. I go any further, this thought leader to my um, to my right is Savannah Taylor. Savannah is the marketing director from Airsys Cooling Technologies. Savannah, did I get that right? That is correct. Outstanding. Hello. And so for our viewers that don't already know, why don't you tell them a little bit about Airsys? Yeah, so Airs is cooling technology. Um, they uh, provide infrastructure, obviously, to data centers and telecom. Um, and we predominantly do air cooling, and we also now have liquid cooling because diversification of the infrastructure is a hot topic here at DCD and probably forever at this point in time. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, so uh, diversification of the uh, the options or having options um, uh, for, for that cooling, infinitely uh, critical right now. Uh, specifically when we're talking about like uh, other supply chain challenges and uh, actually getting some of these facilities up and running and legitimized. Um, so uh, with, with that in mind, why don't you tell us a little bit about um, about your cooling solutions and, and uh, the, you know, the innovation behind those solutions? Yeah, of course. So we pride ourselves on sustainability first and foremost, as well as efficiency and reliability. Um, and that's across the board for most, you know, infrastructure. Yeah. That's kind of uptime. You cannot have any lag time or anything like that. Um, especially when the liquid cooling comes to play. That is a huge topic right now. And yes. that seems to be where we're going to start going to begin with. Yeah, I mean, if and when we think about the challenges associated with AI, and nobody leaves JSA TV without talking about AI, and you're going to be so. you're going to be no different, Savannah. <laughs> but when we're talking about AI and we're talking about the densities and the amount of heat and the amount of power and all of this kind of thing, um, cooling becomes... Uh, more critical than it's ever been in, in, in our history. Oh, yeah. um, AI doesn't actually become a reality without a, a cooling innovations. Right. Um, and so I suspect that uh, the advent of AI or this kind of AI push over the last five to 10 years, um, really kind of over the last like three years, right. um, uh, probably has changed the game a little bit for, for folks like uh, Air Airsys. Yeah. Um, I would say a lot of the clients that we're seeing now come in, um, they're predominantly looking at cooling solutions or liquid cooling solutions, yeah. excuse me. Um, we do have a product called Liquid Rack where you have your servers go into it. And it's actually, it's not immersion cooling, it's a spray direct to chip cooling, which is actually way more energy efficient and heat. Direct to um, chip, yeah. Right, you're that, so. uh, surprisingly, or maybe not surprisingly, uh, we talk about cooling, immersion cooling and things like that. Direct to chip. Very few folks are really talking about that. So right. that that's, uh, sounds like a uh, differentiator for, uh, for air assist. Yeah, I think people are a little afraid of it just because it is kind of a brand new technology. Yeah. Um, but we're literally in the space to start innovating. I mean, when it comes to AI constantly changing what seems like by the hour, yeah. why would we not push innovation forward in that regard? I, I'm, I'm with you on that. I'm yeah. with you on that, Savannah. So speaking of innovation, what trends are you seeing perhaps in the industry with regard to cooling or, or whatever else it might be um, that you're most excited about? Definitely excited about the liquid cooling. I'm interested to see how we're going to push forward just as an industry when it comes to, you know, and every, the running joke at DCD has seemed to be, do not bring up PUE. Unfortunately, I'm going to bring that up. Um, but it's just, it's interesting. I think we have a lot of challenges we have to start looking at um, from the infrastructure side and everyone when it comes to, you know, getting the utilities there, who's buying up the land, should yeah. they be buying it, or yeah. is, are people doing AI just to do AI, do they not really understand it? So it's just, there's a lot it's of yes to all of that. Right, and a lot of <laughs> complex issues going on that we have to address, so. Right on, well, Savannah, thanks so much for joining us, I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for having me. You appreciate bet, it. you bet, and thank you viewers for watching JSA TV. We'll see you very soon. Thank you.